Hello everybody, we're here to look at the ArcGIS solution for community parcels and what I've done is uh, gone ahead and downloaded the uh, template, the community parcels information model from Esri's website. I've downloaded that and I've pulled in uh, that data and I've created a service here that I have pulled into my project in ArcGIS Pro. So this here, community parcels, is my service. I've got two local data sets here. One is called County Parcels, the other one's called City Parcels. And what we're going to do today is show you how you can update the Community Parcels layer by using these different feature data sets that we could, in theory, pull in from different agencies. So to begin, we're going to look at the Data Assistant. That's an add-in that we brought in when we downloaded the data. We're going to install that add-in, and these are the tools it's going to give available, to make available to us. First thing we're going to do is create a new source target configuration file. So we select that, and over here we can see where we are going to input our parameters. And for my parameters here, as my source data set, I've populated city parcels. And for the target data set, I've selected my web layer called Community Parcels. Now we're going to run our configuration tool here. Once we've created our source target configuration file, we're going to go to the next tool here, this data, data mapper, and we're going to populate that with our source configuration file. And for my example here, I'm going to use the parcel ID field to be my uh, field by which I would dictate any uh, queries or any definitions there. And I'm going to then select fields. And I'm actually going to change these to null except for per parcel ID in this situation. What the data mapping tool does is it allows us to map the fields that we receive from our communities into the proper fields where they belong in the community parcels information model. Then after that we can come up and preview the results and what we're going to do here is we want to preview what that's going to look like uh, once the changes take place in our updated community parcels layer. And over here we can dictate the number of features that we're going to preview and then we're going to execute the tool Okay, once our preview is created, we can see the changes that are proposed and what the parcels are proposed that will actually be replaced in the community parcels layer. Uh, in this case, we only have one particular area where there's a change, and as I toggle off my preview layer, we'll see that it's right up here with this parcel. The new city uh, parcels have a split there, as you can see. And so our next step we're going to do is we're going to replace data. And with the replace data now, what we're going to do is we'll have our source target configuration file specified here. And then we're just going to run it. Okay, and once the <coughs> replace data tool has finished running, <coughs> we can see that our underlying parcel layer, or our uh, service, our feature service, should be updated. We may have to refresh it, but that should be updated to reflect our new changes from there. So again, that's how we update the community parcels layer. We started with a, uh, two different communities contributing to our community parcels, and we're able to run these uh, and replace their data individually within this community parcels layer uh, on a as frequent as needed basis. Thanks for watching today. I hope you benefit from watching this tutorial. Thank you. 